Yo, 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 yo. What up, peoples? We are in the car, obviously, on a little road trip down to Jacksonville, Florida. Golf tournament in St. Augustine, but it's like really close. So I'm staying in Jacksonville. Uh, yeah, we were looking at those plane tickets and uh, they were a little expensive. So we decided to drive instead, which is cool. Play a rocking by myself. Get down there at like nine, maybe. I might grab some food in a little bit, but I'm chilling right now. So. Also, sorry for the delay. I had some difficulties with uh, my editing software. So I'm new to this. I'm trying to figure it out, man. It should be a fun tournament, um, APGA event. Two days, practice round tomorrow at 12.30, and then uh, play Monday, Tuesday, and I drive back. The tournament prep so far has been good. I have purchased a course management system called Decade, uh, which is pretty popular. Expectations for this tournament, just to stay focused the entire time. We're not trying to shoot a score. We're not trying to go out and make birdies. We're just picking good targets, hitting it at those targets, and trusting, you know, the practice that I've been putting in, and um, I know how to hit a golf ball. So, we're going we're gonna to have a fun tournament this time. It's going to be really dope. So, I'm excited. Also, big news, uh, I'm getting some new wedges. So, I'll do a what's in the bag at some point, but I haven't gotten new wedges since probably high school, honestly. Um, the wedges I have now, busted, like, used wedges because I lost my other wedges. I broke one of them and lost the other one. Um, and so when I started playing college golf, I needed some, some decent wedges. So I went to uh, this played against sports store. I've just been grinding with those, but grooves were cooked like complete boo-boo. So luckily, we're getting three new wedges. I'm picking them up tomorrow morning from TBC Sawgrass. It's going to be dope, man. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? Got to Got to upgrade the equipment, new tools, and you know what I'm saying? I'm a tool belt. But stay tuned. Keep rocking with me. I know y'all see the goatee. A little new look for Florida, you know what I'm saying? Goatee trap. He might be different. I don't know. We go, I don't know. We going to see. <laughs> Being earlier. Yeah. Being earlier. Have the rain pants on. You just got to get it. All right. Yeah, bro. It's all for the content, though. Rain suit, beans, all of it. You're sleeping here, right? What's up, man? What is going on? Hey, this is my home state now. No. <laughs> Wait, come home. <laughs> Keep that one in the bag. That's it. You like that? Oh yeah. That's right it. Using them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Using them up now. No, you don't have I gotta to save them. You gotta save them. That's crazy. Dale. Oh. Oh Lord have mercy. All right, y'all. We back in the hotel room. Uh, just finished the practice round here with my boy. Introduce yourself to the peoples. What's going on, y'all? This is Jeffrey Cunningham. The one and only. Jacksonville's finest. West Palm Beach, Florida. <laughs> All right, so we're just chilling watching, uh, who is this? Miami? Uh, Miami Indiana? Indiana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you. shout out to you. So, Jeff, um, where where did we play at today? We were at St. John's. St. John's Golf and Country Club. G give me give me your uh, preparation for the practice round. What 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 did you do today? Um, honestly, I had a lot of fun with the boys. Just getting a feel for the course, you know, it was generous. They put the pin locations out there. So just getting a feel for where the pins are, are going to be and, you know, what type of shots you're going to have to hit. And yeah, just get a sense of how you're going to vibe out for the rest of the tournament. Good stuff, good stuff. So uh, how would you assess your game right now going into this tournament? Mm, that's a good question. Thank you. That's what I'm here for. I like where my game is right now. 
because um, I feel like I don't have many expectations for myself. I had been struggling with my game for like the past couple weeks or months or so. Mm-hmm. It was all good. And I kind of, I found a little groove back home and I'd really like the way that the course is shaping. So I think it's just another opportunity to do something good. And uh, if you don't, you go back to the drawing board and you know, can't really sweat that. It's very true. I think I'm off at 1020 tomorrow. Jeff is right after me at 1030. So hey, I'm going to lead the way. We have a good little tournament coming up, and uh, hopefully we'll be at the top of that leaderboard. So, Jeff, it was a pleasure. Always a pleasure, my brother. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, thank you all for, for tuning in. Um, and when I win this tournament, we're going to clip this up and uh, put this uh, up in the YouTube channel. So appreciate y'all. Bow, bow. I did not win, which is uh, no bueno, but uh, we had a good time, learned a lot about our game, got to clean some stuff up. Um, I really did like the, the decade system, um, was able to feel like I managed the course better. Uh, on the greens, confidence was super low, um, hit a couple of bad tee shots, just some bad swings, mental errors really um but overall the game i'm always gonna say the game always feels close um and so i I went to my coach um after i got back and we had a putting lesson i have another lesson with him like a swing lesson with him uh, in a couple days but the game is close man and i'm excited for it it's it's coming along Um, but as far as score it wasn't great um you know like i said just some mental errors and just a couple of bad swings here and there and then on the greens it was just atrocious honestly it was no confidence switched grips a couple times was really struggling with like a mental block of you know hitting putts confidently um just had no idea if i was going to start it on my line or not which is never a good place to be but um the putting lesson that i had went really well and i'm feeling a lot better have really been grinding on the greens and committing to a few hours a day of of specific putting practice um i think i just realized i wasn't you know i wasn't working hard enough i wasn't putting in the hours um in specific areas of my game that i need to improve on and um you know that's that's my fault you know i take responsibility for that and um i know that i can play better so uh, for me to play better i have to change you know my preparation i have to change uh, my expectations going into tournaments really just trust and like have confidence that I am good because sometimes I feel like I'm so far away even though I feel so close you know but it is what it is um, next tournament is in Vegas so I've been doing some tournament prep for that I already have my you know my targets and my notes for the practice round already laid out so it's gonna be a good time I think if we can manage our expectations and just not put added pressure on ourselves i think i'm gonna be fine if you follow me on instagram uh you saw a little sneak peek of a little uh some more some more content that i've got coming out soon which is gonna be dope Uh, i'm trying to figure out a a nice balance with the youtube stuff because i want to get out as much content as possible just to track the journey accurately but it's it's tough when you know you're trying to trying to get the game right trying to make sure you play well at these tournaments you you got travel i've got work and i'm on the way to work now and um i got practice and all these other things so i plan on doing some uh on course stuff you know maybe play nine holes play a few holes to let you guys see the game um but on to the next one vegas is gonna be lit so uh appreciate y'all for rocking with me um it's a long journey man it's just the beginning so yeah on to the next